Keith and Michelle are dreaming of owning a relaxing lakefront property. Nice, oh, wow. nice. But with a limited budget, they're forced to look at diamonds in the rough in need of renovations. Where's my hammer and tool kit? I can get started. <laughs> and the waterfront just might be a deal breaker. That might be one big X for this property. Do they have the rental skills and patience to make their budget work? It's not like a supporting wall or anything, so we should be okay. Time to find out on what's for sale. Keith and Michelle have two passions, rock and roll and renovating. We renovate all the time. We're in our backyard now, putting new grass, putting new trees, putting flagstone down. We can't find enough to do, so we want to buy a nice little cabin in the woods. <laughs> We're together all the time. We have a lot of fun. She plays in the band with me, and I get into the work with her, and we love to build. I definitely love the design aspect of it, and Keith is definitely, he's got the energy that can keep momentum going. Turn the rock music on, get the power tools, and, and let us go. They have high expectations when it comes to the lot, and a limited budget of $300,000. We brought our price point down so we could have the great property, the great view, and just, you know, rock it out. In order to find their dream property with a stunning view, this savvy couple is willing to put their rental skills to the test. We know that we've got to start somewhere where we can go in there, build something up, and then work our way to our dreams. Michelle and Keith are this real estate agent's dream buyers come true. They are visionaries. They can see past any obstacles and see how they're gonna make whatever they're looking at their own. The first property I'm taking them to is a three-bedroom fixer-upper on a seasonal road. Oh, this is pretty crazy. Sunset Cabin has west exposure and clean, clear water with 99 feet of usable frontage. The asking price, $279,000. It's rock and roll. Follow me. Oh. Ooh. Where's my hammer and uh, tool kit? We can get started. <laughs> it didn't look like it had that much work on the outside from first glance, but uh, we were a little worried about what was going on inside. Well, I love that right there, because that'll keep us warm in the winter. That's awesome. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you're not coming in here in the winter time. No? Oh, no. You're looking at a seasonal road here. Gotcha. Okay. A seasonal road means that come the snow, no one's plowing. So unless you're willing to park your vehicle and walk in, you're probably not getting into your property in the winter months. More bang for your buck yeah. on a seasonal road. Mm -hmm. The asking price for this place is below your budget at $279,000. Oh, really? Nice. Okay. That can work, yeah. I don't know, the only one thing that kind of keeps sticking out is the size. We've got two dogs, we've got family, they have their dogs. It's a little tight, it's a little tight. So I think that this place has a few surprises in store for you. This Keep an open it. mind, okay. come see the kitchen. Okay which, as you can see, has a beautiful view of the water. It's awesome. Yeah, no, I love the open concept style, but it feels a little small. It's the only thing that kind of worries me a little bit. Keith and Michelle's budget is at the lower end for a waterfront property, so space and square footage is something they might have to sacrifice. Can't you just take all this down Definitely. and open this up? Get rid of that cupboard, bring it over a little bit, and then you can kind of open that right up and be pretty cool. Right. What's behind this here? Is there any... Well, as I told you, this place has some surprises in okay, store for you. more surprises. So let's go see what's behind that door. Let's do it. Could be a bathroom. Okay. It could be a broom closet. Yeah! Okay, so a bedroom. <laughs> That's awesome. Not oh, bad. this is so cool. It's a good size. Look at that. That means bedroom. that wall can come out. It's not like a supporting wall or anything, so we should be okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So that Which works. is going to open this up. Yep. You've now got great open concept. Definitely. Right, but one less place to sleep. I think that's okay. Your requirement was you needed minimum two bedrooms. Right. So let's go check out the other side of the building. Okay. And see what's in store. Awesome. Let's do it. So we've got to the walkout. Okay. And here. We have what I think is a very spacious it's bedroom. It's actually a pretty good size for... It's pretty big. Yeah. A little concerning about yeah, this bow in the ceiling here, though. That's... It droops in the middle. Well, you guys are the rock and roll renovators. Coming so. down. We're going to pull that down and see what's up there. No, this is a great master suite. I love it. Do we have another bedroom? As I told you, Michelle, this place has lots, lots of, surprises. of surprises in store. <laughs> lots of surprises. Good and bad surprises, I would think. Go have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, we got another it's bedroom. It's huge. It's perfect for when we have our family come up. There's enough room for everyone in here. I think it's good. Yeah, yeah, what I love it. Think? I love it. I think it's awesome. 
So we've talked about, you know, some of the renos that you can do in here. So clearly you're going to change this. So what would you do with this room? You could do a bench along the bottom of the window here that can be used uh, as storage, but at the same right. time as seating. Pull the table over into the bench exactly. a little bit to kind of make some yeah. room for the nice big patio doors that we're going to put out there. Ah, Perfect. That would be cool. awesome to have, be able to walk out right onto that deck. I'm actually having fun envisioning how they can renovate this place. What you haven't seen yet is probably the best feature of this offering, and that is the lot. Yes! Right. It is the most perfect lot. It has west exposure, so all day sun. It has lots of flat usable space. It has shallow entry and deep water off the dock. Checks off every single box on their wish list. So perfect waterfront as far as I'm concerned. Clear, which love is good. Clear, weed free, deep water off the dock. Yeah, I love the water. I guess the only thing is it's not really that big open view that we were kind of hoping for. Like, yeah, it's a little tight in between the, the side and that side. We're not known to be quiet. <laughs> So now Michelle has realized that it actually is not that big of a lake. As much as I love a big panoramic view, I like to have that nice long view where you can look out into the sunset. She really saw herself on a much bigger lake and I'm starting to realize she wanted a much bigger open lake view. It's kind of a trade-off, right? In your price point, you're getting an amazing lot with crystal clear waterfront. Yeah. You know, and a lake that is still going to suit most things you want to do. Right. You can drink a lot of beer and sitting right here. Absolutely. I love it. All day long. Love it. In the sun. In the sun. Yep. Yeah. So one more surprise left on this property. Okay. Follow me. All right. Oh, wow. wow. We've got a bunkie. This is awesome. You have a third bedroom. This wow. is really, really cool. I love bunkies. This is awesome. Yeah. Good. I love it. So this is pretty much everything there is to see at this property. Okay. You know, I think we'll call it Sunset Cabin because it's got We've such got the sun, that's for sure. Yeah. Love it. But there's more to see. So I suggest we hit the road and go look. Okay. Rob knows what he's talking about. We are in a certain price point, so we know there's going to be concessions. If Rob can find us a, a, a bigger lake, we're all about it. So Keith and Michelle love a fixer-upper, and it's a good thing too, because the only places in their price range need a lot of TLC. A little concerning about yeah, this bow in the ceiling here, though. Can they find it with their limited budget? We brought our price point down so we could have the great property, the great view, and just, you know, rock it out. They love the large bedrooms yeah. and endless surprises at Sunset Cabin. This is awesome! Everything was looking good until they got to the waterfront. It's not really that big open view that we were kind of hoping for. So I'm showing Keith and Michelle a property on a slightly larger lake. The view is spectacular, and I'm sure this next place will check off all the boxes on their wish list. Naughty Pine is a three-bedroom bungalow with an open-concept living space situated on a year-round road. The asking price is $299,000, right at Keith and Michelle's budget. I'm hoping these young renovators can see past all the naughty wood in this classic pine cabin. Nice, nice, I like. Definitely got I like the wood. cottage wood feeling, I would say. You like the naughty pine? I love the naughty pine in a cottage. He loves it, he would put it everywhere if he could. <laughs> I love the pine. It feels outdoorsy, it feels comforting, it's all good. Good little kitchen. Yeah, it's a nice open concept, yeah. really. I love it. No walls to take down. No saying Just reclines. Bonus. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have the living room. Oh, wow. So oh, look. As I have my peak roof. <laughs> yeah. So you can see the exposed rafters, walk out right here, and a wood stove. Love it. Love the wood stove. You know what? Even though it is still a bit small, it feels more spacious, especially with the height and ceiling. I think it's a great little setup. Well, let's check out the bedrooms. Okay. Because sure. Because keep in mind, the bedrooms at the last place were quite They were thin, huge. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Right. So keep an open mind. All right. Oh, wow. This isn't bad. I mean, depending on how you set it up, it's got... It's bright. Yeah. It's got some light in here. So what I was thinking is, could you not cut out this wall and then create one big living room? Yes, sir. Pull this down. Yeah. Those, those rafters will be exposed. I mean, right. it would be yeah. really, really cool. Let's go check out the other bedrooms. Okay. okay. Oh, look, a good sized bedroom. Nice. More than enough space for sleeping for the guests. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next. Okay. Tub, clawfoot, no shower, but that can be... It's a good size, you know, though, I would say. It's clean, it's cute. Is there a septic system in here, Rob? Oh, 
surprise. Oh, no. those are surprises. That's a composting yeah. toilet. No. How does that work? It's oh, you, on a holding tank. So that is much different than a septic tank. Everything is basically going into the holding tank right. and being held there. Being held there. Until someone comes and takes <laughs> it away. So if you're going to start to use this place with a lot of family and friends, putting in a septic is something that we're going to have to discuss. We're probably looking at about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Okay, okay, good to know. But it's something that's going to add to the value of the property. Right. Septic is definitely something that we're going to have to think about when it comes to considering Naughty Pine. Another, oh, bedroom number three, okay. And Keith, I nice think size. you could actually steal more from this room right, than right. that bathroom. Right, we could probably take a foot right there and bring out the uh, wall and get that extra space for the shower. Keith and Michelle are renovators, so they know lots about renovating a structure. What they don't know about are lots. So look at all the amazing outdoor entertaining space here. Yeah, this is great. And how about this lot? This is the best. The view is I amazing. Love the view. It's kind of like a little secluded little corner of the lake. A little bay. So the topography of this lot is much different than the last property. You can see that we're much more sloping terraced here. Right, right. Is this an issue? Not at all. I think we should go check out that waterfront. Let's do it. So we're in a little bay here. Once again, we've got the shallow entry, which you wanted for your dogs. Mm -hmm. And then you've got deep water right off the dock. It's a really, really nice, clean lake. Do you notice where the sun is, though? I don't see it. <laughs> so, so it's behind us. It is behind us. What's happening is the sun is coming up, and it's going this way. Right. And because you don't have a huge tree line here, right, you the it. sun is actually going to beam down here. I mean, it's pretty late in the afternoon right now, and if those clouds would go away, we would have we sun. We would probably have sun. Right. Okay. I guess one thing that kind of bothers me that I keep seeing is the dock right there of the neighbor. It's a little close for my liking, especially with the dogs. So this is 117 feet of frontage. Okay. But, you know, the way we are in the bay here, privacy is something that you are going to have to take into Sacrifice, consideration. possibly, yeah. And there's the yeah. sun. Yes, the sun is coming out. And look how high it is, yeah. right? Is this over our budget? This is not over your budget, but it is right at your budget. It's $299,000. Okay. All right. And with nice. less renovations, kind of brings us to the same point as the last place that and we remember, saw. remember, asking price is asking price. Right. right. Right? Right. You've got a great agent who's really good at negotiating. Yeah. Rock and roll Rob. Rock and roll Rob. <laughs> so I got one more surprise for you at this property. Funky! Funky! Okay. It's a good size. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's it's a bunky, right? It serves a purpose. It's, it's big enough, but it needs a little work. It needs a little Keith and Michelle touch. Yeah. So, you know, I think that you guys kind of dig this place. Yeah, Naughty oh. Pine's cool. Yeah. Well, we have one more to go. Awesome. So I think that it is time we go to a large lake because I don't think Michelle's going to be satisfied until she sees something in your budget on a big lake. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's... I think Keith and Michelle are feeling pretty good about this property overall. I think the privacy at the waterfront and the type of waterfront really is going to be the biggest hurdle. We know we can do the renos, so for us it's really taking a good close look at the lot and the water and how close our neighbors are, uh, which is going to make or break the deal for us. We need the lot to rock. Keith and Michelle are looking for a property and a project. They like the first place I showed them. Wow. This is awesome. I love it. Even though the lake wasn't big enough. I like to have that nice long view where you can look out into the sunset. The second property I showed them, Naughty Pine, was a lot less work. But the neighbors were a little too close for comfort. So the next property I'm taking Keith and Michelle to is on one of the area's largest lakes. I have a feeling they're about to see that with a big lake, some sacrifices are going to have to be made. Oh, look at this. This property has west exposure and also an amazing picturesque view. The list price is under their budget at $279,000. All right. Those 1950s, two. definitely with yeah. the little <laughs> scroll work there. Big though. It's yeah, nice size. Like yeah, I like the size of the kitchen and I like the usable space on both sides. That's great. And as you can see, you know, it's not open concept. Right. But you being the rock and roll renovators, right. I think you're going to have a few ideas as we go through the place. Like a tornado, baby, like yeah. a tornado. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have the living room, okay. as well as the dining room. Right. 
The place is definitely cute. I would probably whitewash the walls a little bit. What do you think? I think no. that I would come in here and I would rip it all down and rebuild oh, it yeah? right from the start. So at the other two places, we were taking out a bedroom. Right. So we might as well take a bedroom out at this place too. Let's oh, do okay. it. I have an idea, so let's go look at the bedrooms. Okay. And I think um, we'll probably be on the same page here. Cool. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Bedroom number one. Right. Which is clearly small, but you know what's right behind you. Kitchen. Kitchen. <laughs> so, what do you think I'm going to say? Rip the wall down. Exactly. Span the kitchen out, Make maybe? Bigger. <laughs> I love the fact how Rob is totally on our page, and it seems that it's been a continuous concept of removing uh, one bedroom to create some more living space. Bedroom number two, but number one, because we're tearing down the other one? That's right. So we'll call this bedroom number one. Okay. I love the natural light that comes in. That's great for the morning. Uh, I'm liking it. Yeah, I love it. I think I would just uh, pull the ceiling tiles down, pull the paneling, maybe some knotty pine with a few, maybe four pot lights. I think we could rock this room right out. Great. So let's go see the last of the bedrooms in this building. Awesome. Love it! it. You. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that is nice. I think this needs a nice big window in here. M maybe a um, door walkout would walk be out. killer. Yeah, that too. Amazing. It's, it's a million dollar view, really. Yeah. Okay, so you've seen this building, but this property is large and it's got other buildings that we have to go look at. Oh, okay. Let's go check it out. As you can see, the usable space at this property is in the back. Right. What I'm excited about is to show you guys that building. Okay. You guys stay here. All right. <laughs> Keith and Michelle's party room. <laughs> Look at that. Eh? Hop on in. So it has electricity, you can put in a fridge. Oh, wow. You can have like rock jam sessions in here. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You can have like a concert and you, you know, it's like we can jam. Anything. We can jam out right here. It's a great space. It's yeah. totally cool. Let's go look at the waterfront. Let's do it. Wow. Look at that view. That is beautiful. That is exactly what I was hoping for when you said big lake. But it is on a very steep lot. It's always a bit of a risk to take a buyer to a property that's on a steep lot. It is about 65 stairs to the waterfront. How gorgeous is this? It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love how it's got that wide open view. You can see all the way down around the corner. You can see way out there. No uh, entry for the puppies. It's pretty deep off to the end here. Yeah. And the other thing that I notice is we're kind of getting into the afternoon and I'm just now seeing the sun start to hit down here. So does that mean in the morning we've got no sun down on the deck? That's a very interesting question, Michelle. Everyone thinks they want west exposure, but if you're a morning person and you want sun in the morning, you're actually not going to get it on a lot like this. So that might be one big X for this property. You know, the other option is I did notice that we've got a lot of good sun that's coming on the left side of the cottage. So if we were to extend that and do a nice pier deck, then maybe that could be the morning hangout place until the sun reaches the lake. You guys are full of great ideas. <laughs> so you've seen three properties. I think we need to go discuss the pros and cons of each property and see if you're ready to make a decision. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do that. Who wants to carry me up the stairs? <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm really not sure what Keith and Michelle are going to do. I've shown them three very different properties, but they seem really anxious to get into the market and own a waterfront property. I think they're pretty close to making a decision. Keith and Michelle are looking for a lakefront cabin that they can renovate to make their own. They've seen three potential properties and have a great deal to consider. Now all they have to do is make a decision. So let's start with property number one, Sunset Cabin. Well, I think our first impression was, okay, yeah, we can take this on. And, you know, but I think it was a little bit more than we maybe wanted to take on, especially having the lakefront not being everything that was on our checklist. I thought that had almost everything you wanted. It had west exposure, it had shallow entry, it had clear, clean water. It had the clear water, but it didn't have the view that we were looking for with that open, grandiose ah. kind of view. Okay, so then we moved on to property two, Naughty Pine, which was on a medium-sized lake. On property number two, we could bust that bedroom out in the back, and then it had that peak roof where we could extend that bedroom back and open that whole thing up for the whole family to hang out. But it didn't have uh, a septic. That's right, and that maybe is not where we want to take some of our budget money to have to put towards, so... And the asking price was right at your budget yeah. at 299000 mm -hmm. Right. So how about steep lot? 
It's like its name, it's very, very steep, a lot of stairs, but the stairs were really built great. I think the big concern down below was there was no shallow entry for the puppies. But it was also on a big lake. It was an awesome lake. Yeah. Right? Something we loved, and that was definitely a big one on our checklist, but no sun down on the dock in the morning. So are there solutions to that? We know we get great sun up on the side of the cabin, so we could maybe extend that and make it a peering deck, and then possibly build a, a second tier. Okay. You know what? We have to eliminate one. Yeah. Which one's it gonna be? Definitely Sunset Cabin has gotta go. Yeah. Sunset Cabin's going. Yeah. Out of there, baby. Okay. Well, you know what? It was on a seasonal road, mm -hmm. and I do think that the actual building probably needed too much work. Right. So that leaves us with Naughty Pine. Yeah. And Steep Lot. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, we loved Naughty Pine, we loved everything about it, but again, the fact that the neighbors were so close, I think was a huge, huge setback for us. So, I think we're gonna go with Steep Lot. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, 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 Rob, it had all the things that we really wanted. It had the picturesque view, we got the huge lake, get the pontoon boat out, the jet skis, cruise around. I think everyone's gonna really have a good time in our family with this property. Awesome and it's under budget. Exactly. Yeah, baby. Right? And with the west exposure and the tier decks that we're gonna create, I'm gonna have sun from morning till sunset, so that's a bonus in my books. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm gonna go do up the offer. You're gonna buy this property, get out your tool belts, and start doing some rock and roll renovation. All right, sounds good. High Please. five, baby. <laughs> The last couple of days have been a blast. It's been an adventure. I mean, we've seen so many wonderful things. And of course, our real estate agent, Rob, I mean, he really knocked it out of the park on this one. My rock and roll renovators, they have such a vision. And at the end of the day, we found them the perfect waterfront property. I'm really happy for them.